this is something you talk about things that have changed in the 27 years since you were last here. One of the things that has changed is the extraordinary concentration of power in our economy uh, in the hands of a few corporations, no more so than in Silicon Valley, which you referenced earlier today. And I just want to ask you a little bit about that. Uh, big tech companies like, for instance, Google and Facebook, who have drawn much attention of late, pose significant challenges, not just for competition, but also for the larger issues of privacy and the free flow of ideas. The Justice Department has recently deferred to the FTC across this range of issues. And while I'm hopeful that Chairman Simons will, will write the course here, the FTC has perhaps too often allowed these companies, in my view, to violate privacy and maybe antitrust laws without meaningful consequences. Here's my question. What role do you think the Justice Department has working with the FTC or independently to address anti-competitive conduct, potential bias, and privacy violations by these big tech companies? <clears throat> well, obviously, competition uh, is of central concern to the antitrust division, and and you know there are, I guess, concordats that have been reached between the FTC and and the antitrust division as to who has primary jurisdiction in different areas, but. I would like to weigh into some of these issues. I'd like to have the antitrust support that effort to get more involved uh, in reviewing the situation from a competition standpoint. I also uh, am interested in the issue of privacy uh, and the question of who owns this data. Um, and you know, it's not an area that I've studied closely or become an expert in, but I, I, I think it's important for the department to get more involved in these questions. Just on the subject of ownership of data, as you know, Facebook is currently subject to a 2011 consent decree as part of which it agreed not to release or share or sell personal user information without the knowledge and consent of its users. Uh, Facebook's CEO, Mark Zuckerberg, has adamantly insisted under oath as recently as April 10th of 2018, that on Facebook users have complete control, those are his words, over everything that they share. However, as I'm sure you're aware, recent media reports have indicated that Facebook, in fact, routinely has shared user information without users' consent uh, or even knowledge. Now, the Justice Department has the authority to enforce the terms of the 2011 consent decree and potentially to prosecute any violation. Will you consider doing so? Well, because that is something that I might have to uh, get involved with and supervise if I'm confirmed, I'd rather not you know, make any comments about it right now. Let me ask you this. These same technology companies also control the flow of information, or at least influence it, uh, the flow of information to consumers to an unprecedented degree. I mean, you have to go way back in American history uh, to find any analog, uh, back to the, the paper trust, uh, to, uh, to find an analog of a group, small group of companies that control the information and influence the news and its flow to Americans to, an extent, to the extent that these companies do. And there's growing evidence that these companies have leveraged their considerable market power, if not monopoly status, uh, to disfavor certain ideological viewpoints, particularly conservative and libertarian viewpoints. Do you think the Department of Justice has authority under the antitrust laws or consumer protection laws or other laws to address bias by dominant online platforms? I would just say generally, you know, I wouldn't think it would, you know, I'd have to think long and hard before I, uh, said that it was really the stuff of an antitrust uh, matter. On the other hand, it could involve issues of disclosure and, and, other, and other, uh, implicate other laws like that. Is there any point, do you think, at which uh, political bias could require a response? And I'm thinking, for example, Harvard Law Professor Jonathan Zetrain has written how Google or Facebook, for example, could manipulate their algorithms to significantly swing voter turnout to favor a candidate of their choice. Would that sort of conduct require a response from the department? I'd have to think about that. I, I, I'm not sure. Uh, you know, I, I'd like to know more about the, the, uh, the phenomena and uh, what laws could be implicated by it. Let me ask you this. Uh, the Justice Department's case against AT&T Time Warner focused on how the merged company would control or could control the distribution of information 
to discriminate against rival content. And I understand that you, of course, are recusing yourself from, from that matter. But generally speaking, generally speaking, do you see similar concerns regarding how dominant Silicon Valley firms could use their market power in social media or search to discriminate against rival products or services or viewpoints? Yeah. And, and making clear that what I'm saying now has no application to uh, you know, the transaction we just talked about and talking about the other companies, yes. 